just gets worse and worse. So recently, Evan Rachels um, has come out and said that Marilyn Manson hates Jews. So on the Loudwire article, um, it says that Evan and Rachel's converted to Judaism. Um, her mother was Jewish, but I think this was before she knew her mother was Jewish. I don't know. It's kind of weird and whirly in the Loudwire article. I'll leave this. I'll leave the link in the description. But it says that. All right. So she was Jewish, and she converted to Jew Judaism apparently. And then Marilyn Manson would say, "Oh, that's good. You're better than you're better than the people who have Jewish blood." Because you don't have Jewish blood, so that makes you better than the other Jewish people. Which is kind of a weird thing to say. But the article continues. Um, Marilyn Manson would allegedly um, draw little uh, swastikas on her table. And apparently he got um, Nazi symbolism tattooed on him. He didn't get the swastika, I believe. He just got like... The article doesn't say again. Um, it would have been interesting if... We knew what kind of Nazi symbols he had drawn. I think maybe maybe it was like the Nazi eagle. Um, like I said, the article doesn't say. Um, and also, uh, Evan Rachel says that Marilyn Manson has been using the N-word. And so I guess he's racist. Uh, it's kind of it's weird. Um, Evan Rachel said that she hasn't been scared, hasn't been this scared in her life, being with Marilyn Manson, allegedly. And the article continues saying that they didn't really have like a BDSM relationship. They weren't really kinky. And it just goes into all that kind of stuff. And she says all the torture was non-consensual. So yeah, there was a lot, um, a lot of new stuff revealed in this article, but let's start from the beginning. So, Marilyn Manson allegedly being a Nazi, being allegedly being anti-Jewish. This is kind of ironic when you think about it, because if you remember, like back a couple years ago, he was in the Sons of Anarchy show and he played a Nazi. Uh, I think he had like Nazi tattoos and he was like in prison and stuff. It, that was crazy. So <laughs> it's kind of ironic seeing it later that he actually might be a Nazi or he actually might actually hate Jewish people. It's kind of weird to see it because he played a Nazi years ago. So when I, when I was reading, I was just like, whoa, this is kind of giving me like Sons of Anarchy flashbacks. I honestly don't even know what to say. Like, this actually might be worse than Columbine for Marilyn Manson. If you remember years ago when Columbine happened, it was like 20 years ago, wow. 1920, a long time ago. Uh, when Columbine came out, it destroyed Marilyn Manson's career because everyone thought that the Columbine shooters were Marilyn Manson fans. So, at least back then when Marilyn Manson was just getting crucified by the media, by the news, by the bloggers, by reporters, at least Marilyn Manson had like that tight teenage fan base that just would not stop listening to his music. So... His mainstream attention did fade, but Marilyn Manson still had like that hardcore teenage and middle school fan base that would rock with him, even after the Columbine shooting. But now, 2020, 2021, it's just, let's see where Marilyn Manson is at right now. His career is nowhere near as big as it was in the early 2000s and 90s. Plus, the rise of social justice warriors the rise of people being more politically correct, the rise of social media. I honestly don't know if, if he's actually guilty of this, if, he, if this actually all happened, the sexual assault, the pedophile stuff, all this stuff, if all this actually happened, I do not see his career getting out alive. Like you saw what they did to R. Kelly and what Marilyn Manson has done might be arguably worse if you think about it, I don't know. I don't know. Is Marilyn Manson worse than R. Kelly? If all these allegations are true, is he worse than R. Kelly? Because at least when R. Kelly was, at least when Surviving R. Kelly came out and all of the R. Kelly stuff was coming out, at least the media liked him from the beginning. Like, he was a likable guy at first in the 90s and early 2000s. But Marilyn Manson has never been liked by the mainstream media. He's always, he's always portraying himself as the villain, the, the person 
the rebel, the person who hates Christianity, the, the, the destroyer of Bibles, if you saw that YouTube video, where she's like ripping out pages of the Bible and burning it. it, it <laughs> so Marilyn Manson has been hated by America since day one, where R. Kelly was actually liked at the beginning. So if all this stuff is true, if all this, if Marilyn Manson really isn't, really is anti-Jewish, if he actually is um, sexually involved with minors, if Marilyn Manson actually did commit all this like torture and BDSM weird stuff, then I honestly don't see his career getting out alive. I honestly cannot see that. It's just a shame because I really liked the last album he put out. But it's just after all this. Marilyn Manson allegedly using the N-word, being racist. I mean, if you're a Nazi, you're racist. So when I was reading that, I was just like, eh. If he hates Jews, why not black people, right? So... And if you ask me, I don't think Marilyn Manson hates black people because he's he's done a song with DMX. He's done, he's worked with black artists before. He met with Little Uzi Vert. Um, he has a picture of him hanging out with Travis Scott. So I don't think Marilyn Manson is actually racist. Um, but still, this, the racism stuff aside, the Nazi stuff is even worse. Like, People will not put up with that in this day and age. Like, I honestly don't see his, how his career can get out alive. Um, it's, it's just getting worse and worse for him. And like I said, I believe innocent until proven guilty, but it's just really hard to like listen to his music now, knowing all these allegations are out. And they're just so detailed. Like, they have to be true. And there's so many people coming out, speaking against Marilyn Manson. It's just... It's just very uncomfortable, honestly. So, yeah, Marilyn Manson might be a Nazi, might hate black people. Um, it's just getting worse and worse for him. Honestly, I don't think this is as bad as the B.B. Bridges thing where he actually showed the underage girl his rape room, but it's, it's, it's not looking good for Marilyn Manson, man. All right, that's it.